Hi, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop here with a walkthrough on the Cirque de Tarot. This is um, a relatively new deck as into the marketplace. It was launched in March of this year, so it is actually very new in tarot terms. Standard 78 card deck. It's created by Lisa Robertson and illustrated by Josh, Josh Tufts. Um, I must say that it um, reminds me very much of the demand for it. reminds me very much of when the Lightseers first came into the marketplace. It, um, it's being received very well and there's a lot of enthusiasm and interest in it. And I think when we go through, you'll see why. Um, so the box, it's a standard magnetic box we well standards we, we like those and there's a booklet with it this this guy here it's a thick book too which we'll take a little peek at first so first on the box we've got um roll up roll up come see the greatest tarot circus on earth this rider weight smith deck it's a rider weight smith based deck i would say as opposed to the the actual rider rider weight smith because the images are different <clears throat> on quite a few of them um, showcases the excitement and illusion of the big top along with all the behind the scenes intrigue the richly illustrated suit cards are cleverly comprised of clockwork machines that's what they're using for pentacles balancing blades is what they're using for swords water acrobatics is what they're using for the cups and blazing fire dances is obviously what they're using for wands making this deck the perfect choice for tarot readers who are drawn to the magic and mystery of the Ringmaster's mystical domain. It really is a stunning deck. Um, I'll leave the box there as we go through. On the book, it's um, very comprehensive. I mean, because the images aren't true reproductions of the Rider Waite, it goes through each and every single card. I'm going to show you first what it says about. It's divided into acts. So the book goes through Act 1, which is the Majors. I think this is just so clever. The intermission is the court cards, because I think it's important to break them down, and it does feel as well that court cards are intermission. Act 2 are the Swords, Three Wands, Four Cups, and Five Pentacles. And it finishes as an encore with some spreads. So that's lovely. Very informative. So just a bit of info on the cards. Right, so you have each one, you have the full visual page of it, of the illustration, and then you have the ally and the challenger. And the ally is the upright position and the challenger is the reverse position for those of you who like to read reversals. Um, and as I said, they're very descriptive. So it allows you to really immerse yourself in the image and understand where the illustrations were formed, if you like, really. And then it allows you to be able to remember because the picture says a thousand words, doesn't it, really? So you go through all of the major arcanas. We'll go through the cards in a second. Um, then, obviously, the suits, the courts. And then we go through each and every single card for each of the suits. It's really, really well done. And the spreads. Now, I have had a flick through this earlier, so I... I was really impressed to see this. So you've got four cards spread and it basically, they give you seeking the spotlight spread. And I particularly like the stage fright spread because as we know, a tarot is a tool for empowerment. It's not um, a crystal ball. It's about actually making sure that we are directing ourselves the right way in life and we overcome things. And this is perfect for that because they've done a three card spread, not on a past, present, future, but the first one is fear the fear card two is the mindset and card three is the action so what you need to do to overcome the fear i was really impressed when i read that um the seven day show so you can take a card and do every day of the week so you're a week ahead so that's also good and being part of a troop so there are four spreads there for you to get your teeth stuck into let's pop the book to one side and have a look at the cards so we have Move that to one side. So you have the Fool. I'll just lay them on top here so you can see. The Fool. The Magician. So you've got the Magician's Hat. And all of the four elements are still there. So much the same as a standard Rider Waite magi Magician. 
the High Priestess. So she's not sitting with a Torah in her hand um, with the hidden knowledge like she is in the Rider Waite Smith, but I guess she can see what's going on. It, it, and as I said, it describes the picture in the book so you can make that association. The Empress, heavily pregnant and having a rest. The Emperor, we've got a strong man here. Look at this little guy here. <laughs> the Hierophant. that knowledge, tapping into that knowledge to share it with others. The lovers, the chariot. I think when you actually have a really good look at these cards as well, you can, you can get really lost in them. There's so much information contained within them. Strength. Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, it's not very often I'm silent when I'm looking at cards but um, these are lovely um, and then I try and make the connection because obviously the Wheel of Fortune is about evolutionary change isn't it so I'm trying to pop that meaning onto that card and they're going to have to all go down aren't they? And then there. Justice. The Hanged Man. I absolutely love this goldfish bowl. <laughs> Hanging around. The delay. Now death. That's interesting because um, death as we know is rebirth. So I guess you could say these are transmuted. It's not the same after this act changes there. Temperance, patience, the devil. Look at the temptation. Uh, we know that this is about temptation so you just have to stay focused or you do get trapped by distraction. The tower, the star, like a fireworks and you've got the more kind of synchronized around there floating through the air the moon I think it's very interesting that they have chosen the moon to go on the front cover and I think it's um it's very compelling because obviously the moon is about um the hidden path that is yet to be revealed which really does relate to these cards the sun, judgment, and the last major arcana, the world. So you still stood there with your feet. The world is at your feet, which is how I tend to remember the world or I teach others to remember the world card. So that's the major arcana. We'll go through the swords. Oof, look at this, the heart is pierced by the sword and there's the heart shape there, broken hearted. They're like tombstones, aren't they? Very powerful card. And the four, there's resting. I think if you have studied the Rider Waite Smith for quite some time and those are the cards you feel comfortable with, you could easily transfer your knowledge from them onto these cards because you just need to keep them side by side until you can make the association or find a similar link in the current card. Six of Swords. Seven, so you've still got the Thief, you see. Look out, look out, the Thief is about. It's my little rhyme for the Seven. Um, eight of Swords. Oh, spider's web and then he's been bound there but still has the sword so you know this is the trapped card isn't it you normally see the woman and she's trapped by all the swords so he can just cut the way same as the others um nine this is when the um images of the woman on the bed with her head in her hands in the rider weight smith so 
I guess you could say as well that this is fairly critical. I mean, she could drop the ringmaster and onto a bed of swords. It's stress, isn't it? And anxiety. So not a pleasant card to work through. And I like this is, I think these are a little bit more softer, should we say, really. When another, when a, somebody's sitting there having a reading and you're the reader, um, the swords can be quite alarming for people to, to look at the images. Page of swords. So we've got somebody sitting in a mirror, the knight, getting his gloves on, ready for action. Queen, she's nurturing, looking care, taking care of it. And the king is looking for leadership. On we'll to the pentacles. And they use the clockwork, if you remember the clockwork, um, the cogs as I would call them. And the ace, two, so, because this is the card with the juggling, so you can see that she's obviously, you know, bouncing around here and the, the cogs moving and she has to keep them both moving. So it's the same interpretation, isn't it? And this is the... Um, Apprenticeship card in the Wide Awake Smith, so hmm. clocksmith, a clockmaker, maybe. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. This is the taking care of your finances, you know, when he's sitting on his money. There's an element of worshipping money with that card as well. So you can see that these cards are, these guys here, are they're holding up the money worshipping it or offering it so the five rocket <laughs> six wow that's some card seven eight nine and ten. Look at all this. All this money coming in. So we've got the page. Same again in the mirror. Knight getting ready for action. Queen in Brett um, taking care of it. And King leadership. How can I mould this? And then we move into the cups. We've got the Ace of Cups. It's lovely how they have their own colours as well. So they're quite earthy tones, aren't they? The pentacles. And then you have the swords, which are all quite purple or violet. And the cups are all blue. This beautiful turquoisey blue. So that's the ace, the two, so the connection. Three is a celebration. So you can see they're still cheers. Or he's still sitting there fretting about how bored he is and somebody's still offering a cup from heaven. So you can make the transference, you know, of the knowledge from those to these and the five. I think it's quite easy to do that. And um, they're just so stunning. The six. I'd love to know what you think. Maybe you can leave some comments below. An octopus, it's got too much going on there. All these tentacles with all these different cups, lots of choices. Sorry, the seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Gorgeous. Page again in front of the mirror. Now, I always see pages as um, new paths that have been presented from the divine. So maybe it's just about to appear in that mirror. Maybe you could think like that. Knight, queen and king. And the final suit is the ace of wands. These are beautiful. Look, they're so fiery, which is exactly what you're trying to capture in these cards. There's lots of action. And a tiger. So all those things are coming out of the smoke. The two. Wow. These all seem to be happening in the air, don't they? It's like this conjuring that's happening on the ground. So 
sorts of conjuring and then they are in the smoke. Gosh, look at this one. There's a foot with some claw there. I think you could definitely get lost in these. I'd probably struggle to read them because I'd be so busy looking at them. Seven of Wands. Right. Wow. They, they, they're kind of indicative of um, like genie in the lamp, you know, that sort of thing. Like Aladdin. Nine of Wands. Ten. Now that's interesting because usually he's burdened. You see he's got like lots of sticks on his back, can't see properly. So again, he can't see. He's got the glasses. He's not seeing properly. She's blowing out the smoke on her, or blowing, creating smoke. And then you've got the page in the mirror again. The knight, the queen, and the king. So these are the Cirque du Tarot by Lisa Robertson and illustrated by Josh Tufts. And... Um, I'd love to know what you think because I'm quite mesmerised by them. I think they're stunning. As I said, I think they really do remind me of the same kind of energy around the light seers when they arrived on the market. Um, they're, this is the back of them. They're glossy and very easy to handle. They feel solid. Very easy, very solid, as you would expect a tarot deck to handle. Very nice. Okay, so that is that and thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.